Today, we are going to talk about a question somebody once asked Jesus. I'm going to read from Mark 12. And one of the scribes came up and heard them disputing with one another. And seeing that Jesus answered them well, he asked, Which commandment is the most important of all? Does anyone know the greatest commandment? I know Elsa might know it. Does anyone else know it? Brody, have a go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, strength. Yep, that's good. Do you know the next part, Elsa? Yep. Love your neighbor as yourself. I'll read it for you. Jesus answered, the most important is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And here it is. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There are no other commandments greater than these. Has anyone tried to keep those commandments? I, I think we might have tried. Has anyone done it? Has anyone ever kept them? I don't think they have. Uh, I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm definitely sure that no one here has ever done it. And that's because we all sin. That's right. And when we sin, we say to God, uh, I don't love you, God. And in fact, even though you're, you might want to be the boss of me, I'm going to be the boss of my own life, thank you very much. And when we sin, we can't love God, especially when we say to him we want to take his job. But we are reminded other parts in the Bible, God still loves us. We don't love God. In fact, we hate God. But God still loves us. And I'm reminded of a memory verse that you might have just heard in our previous reading that goes a bit like this. Love consists in this, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Where's that from? 1 John 4, 10. That means we didn't love God. God loved us. And then God sent Jesus to take the punishment for our sins, all the nasty stuff we said to God. And then he makes it so that we can love God. We didn't love God. God loves us. So God changes us so that we can love him. Isn't that awesome? What are some ways we could be thankful to God about that, about him changing us so we can love him? Anyone got any ideas? How about we can pray to him? We can be, we can be thankful to him when we pray. We can thank God for changing us so that we can love him and we do love him. We can be sorry to God for when we do sin. What are some other ways, maybe, maybe what we might read? Yeah? Yeah, we can read the Bible. And then in the Bible, we can read that there are laws that Jesus wants us to keep. And we're not, tick, we're not doing those laws to tick the boxes or to say, oh, look how good I am. But we are obeying God to show that we love him. And we can also do the second commandment that we just heard, love your neighbor as yourself. We can love others because God first loved us. So God first loved us, and then we can love him back, and then we can be kind and caring and sharing to others because God was kind and caring by sharing Jesus with us. Let's pray about that now and be thankful to God. Dear God, we thank you that you love us. We are sorry that we often show that we don't love you. And we pray that we, you will change us to love you more. We thank you that you sent Jesus, Jesus so that you could take our punishment and so that you can change us to love us. Love you. <laughs> Amen.